Hey everyone, Elise Bradley here today. And today on the E Weekly, I kind of want to talk about mental health. So basically, we're isolated. We're told we're not supposed to go anywhere. And a lot of us are working from home, or unfortunately, we've been laid off. And that you know, being laid off or working from home is messing with our mental health and our mental health is a priority. It's super important. And I wanted to kind of talk and discuss some different things that I've been doing to help keep my mental health on track. Also wanted to kind of talk about the fact that I was laid off actually. So if anybody was unfortunate to not be able to work from home, I'm with you. So I went from having two dental hygiene jobs to having zero jobs. And that was really tough on me to mentally apply for unemployment and to even just during the application process, I was like, I hope I'm doing everything right. I have no idea what I'm doing. And mentally it started messing with me because I was thinking, how long am I going to be off? I don't know. Uh, when will I receive that? I don't know. And that being said, I have really not a lot of different things to do while being laid off because people who are working from home still can create some type of routine. But for those in the food industry or if you're a dental hygienist or part of the dentistry field, I know there's more fields out there. I know. And I'm not naming them and please don't take that the wrong way that I'm not. But we're at a place where we're like, I don't have technically anything to do. So that's weird for people who have gone from working full time to not working at all. And not only was that mentally hard at first, it also felt financially hard at first just to be like, okay, now I need to create a budget and I need to work out some finances that fit the new budget within me and my home. So my husband is still working, which is freaking wonderful. So that those that have both people that have laid off, I'm so sorry for you. Please, I want you to know that you're, my heart is with you, okay? And I'm praying that you get through this time. But we have to stick together. But I decided I'm going to keep my faith really strong during this time. I'm going to make a list of different things to do to keep my mind occupied and to keep me mentally healthy and not let this get the best of me because I know I'm not alone and I know that it's going to pass and I have faith and trust in God that there is a reason why this is all happening right now. This is a part of a bigger plan and I know I'm going on and on and on. So let me just go ahead and say, what have I been doing since I have nothing to do? Well, if you are, you know, in the dental hygiene field, we have CE courses that we could be doing during this time. That was one thing that I signed up this week to do was to do a CE course that was free. There are free stuff out there. You just got to get to them. And that way I can keep up my education in my field and it occupies my time, earns me an ICE credits because all of my credits are due by the end of this year. Also, Second thing I've been doing, I actually had started like three books within the last year and now I've completed almost my second one and I'm almost on my third one. I am reading Dave Ramsey right now, reading Girl on a Train, and I completed The Tattooist of Auschwitz, which was phenomenal. And I'll list those up at the, like the side so that you know what they are. I actually started spring cleaning, so that's another thing I've been doing uh, number three would be spring cleaning. I don't rush it either. I literally went through um, our bathroom cabinets, my husband's one day and then mine the next. I've just been breaking it up. Then I'm going to hit up the closets and I'm going to deep clean, do a lot of different things that I don't have time to do usually in the spring. So my house is going to be, it's going to be up point. It's going to be really organized and very put together. And next, what I've done is puzzles, games. Uh, I know it's probably hard to be by yourself and do a lot of games. So a puzzle is a great thing, especially it takes my mind away from everything for just a couple of minutes. And I, and it does take up a lot of time. We have not completed our Star Wars puzzle, but it's a great suggestion. Another one, 
binge watching on Netflix. Binge watching. Oh my gosh. Uh, I finally got to binge watch Love is Blind. I told myself I wasn't going to watch it, but I got laid off. So I've got all this time and I still have Netflix. Uh, okay. Sounds good to me. Um, also, I binge watched Tiger King. And now we've started, me and my husband, we have to wait on this one together, is Ozark. <laughs> Working out. I try to make sure that I work out at least four to five times a week because I've got time and I need to keep my mind and my body in shape. And that gives you great, en great endorphins that we all need. And I also have been really walking my dog a lot more and trying to take the time to get outside you know, take in the nature, take in the beauty as much as possible. Definitely make sure you're getting outside. Also, I have, every time I've been outside, I've asked my neighbors, do you guys need anything? Like, I'm young, I'm healthy, some of my neighbors are not. And I always just, you know, social distance, kind of have to scream across, but I'm like, if you all need anything, let me know. I will go get it for you. I will drop it off at your door. All that stuff can keep you busy and just make sure you ask people. People are very much in need right now and they don't want to get out if they're scared of catching this. So do your part. Another thing, start a hobby. Do something that you've always thought about doing but you just felt like you haven't had time. DIY projects on Pinterest, affordable DIY projects. Maybe it could be the littlest thing that you've been wanting to redo to your home, but you have time now, so take the time to do it. I'm redoing a piece of furniture, and I'm also going to do some trim painting updates if you want that suggestion. Cooking. Cooking is a great one. Um, try some new recipes. You've got some extra time. Take your time with it. Maybe budget that out for your week if you need to but yeah cooking is a good thing and I absolutely love cooking I think it's so enjoyable making sure that you spend time with your friends you finally have time to spend with your friends and family now when I say spend time with them I'm talking you can schedule time to talk on zoom and you can do the Marco Polo app that I was introduced to a couple of different things make sure you keep it in touch with everybody keep up with them even if you can't see them Another thing that, you know, I've done to keep in touch with my friends is we went walking in the Lexington Cemetery and we just stayed apart from each other and got to catch up in person. Sometimes you just have to see each other to just feel a little bit better. I think it's really important to get up with a morning routine. If you worked certain days, keep those days a routine. Make a to-do list. That's what I really recommend. Make a to-do list and try to create that routine so you don't get out of it. Okay, while I was editing, I thought of two more really great ideas. Meditation to help keep anxiety levels down. And the second one is learn a TikTok. I think they're so much fun. Who fell in love first? Who's more annoying when they're hungry? I did want to mention, no, you're just not by yourself. We're all going through something that none of us have experienced and hopefully won't have to experience anytime soon again, but it will pass. It feels like it won't, but it will pass. And that's the thing that I have to like, I have to just, I have to keep in mind. So those are a couple of different things that I wanted to talk to you about. Also, if you have another suggestion, I want you to go ahead and comment below this video. Everyone needs suggestions right now. I really, those are things that I just thought of like off the top of my head because there are things that i would already been doing. But if you've been doing something else, help us out. You know, suggest a book, suggest a Netflix show, suggest a project that's inexpensive. You know, give me a recipe, that would be awesome. I want you to understand this is a community and I want you to really be invested in helping each other out. You know, I gave you ideas, but you definitely can give me mine. I mean, give me ideas back, whatever. <laughs> All right, so that was it for today. And I've kept my head held high during this time. I will not let this get the best of me. I love you guys. And I'm sorry that we've all had to go through this. Stick together. We matter and this will pass.